Hello NCW, I hope you're all okay. I'm going to read you a story today and the story is called Sixty in the Sid. Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five and number six. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one where he might have had chicken into number two for fish, on to number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five, rounding off at number six with beef and kidney stew. Since no one talked to their neighbours in Aristotle Street, no one knew what Sid was up to. They each believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, Sid put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as Satan. And silly as Sally, as sooty he smooched, but as swatch, swatch, he had to act rough and tough. All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places and sleeping in six different beds. In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until one cold, damp day he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid, he was taken not once, not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. The vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine, he had six. Now, one black cat does look much like another. But nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough all living in Aristotle Street. So he rang the owners at once. And oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what had been, he had been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They said he had no business eating so many dinners. They said in future they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat. So he went to live at number one. Pythagoras Place. He also went to live at number two, three, four, five and six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbours. So right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. And because everyone knew, nobody minded.